here is a case of RIRS planned grade 1 ureteric perforation happened with uh, fans sheath after that supine PCNL ECIRS saved the surgery in fact RIRS could not be succeeded 58 years old male patient left loin pain 2 weeks two calculi were there in the anterior lower calyx and uh, we initially thought that this may be difficult case because they were not looking like in PCS they were looking like diverticular stones or parenchymal uh, I mean uh, or uh, infundibular stenosis when we went in you see observe quickly I was coming out with scopes see this small uh, grays on the mucosa this, this, this is the way injuries happen because it's one fourth area less probably it doesn't have consequences I am showing again here post stented case this is post stented case but anyway that is not a major issue in this case we were we were observant about that but the problem is not that more than that is not able to see any infundibulum not able to see any opening at this stage there is only one option is uh, methylene blue test but even if you do with methylene blue test we thought we cannot remove such large volume of stone so there is no point doing uh, methylene blue test and weight and time base so we quickly proceeded for supine PCNL we thought after removing the stone the second problem is when the contrast is injected it has gone into the uh, so called diverticulum or the infundibular stenosis we cannot tell most likely it looks like infundibular stenosis so we thought that we have space we basic principles of the supine PCNL is applied and then we went inside passed the guide wire nicely uh, the urine has come the only issue is that guide wire is coiling in the dilated system we expected that also so we dilated slowly and went inside the third problem what we have seen is after seeing the stones they are floating away from the lithotriptor as well as laser at the highest energy source not breaking you see here some effaced papilla like thing is there so we think that this is a infundibular stenosis so when we are doing uh, uh, continuously with laser not even a small fragment is broken we are really really unhappy we even with uh, 4.5 uh, bladder mode so ultimately we used pneumatic we used laser and uh, water was cannot be flushed from below that is a disadvantage of supine PCNL and uh, intermittently that this we use but it is getting uh, black uh, appearance on the stone but not breaking so ultimately to be honest pneumatic help helped uh, but I thought in these cases trilogy or shock pulse uh, can really help so any large uh, cavity with stone which is moving really really it was difficult after that there was one more infundibulum inside from there two three stones have come all are very hard and slowly by doing this pneumatic lithotriptor somehow has done some injury to the mucosa and started bleeding and then we used pump these are the practical problems I had and it took time and uh, lucky that the uh, stones are removed at the end but definitely it took time every time I was getting tempted for laser but single time laser has not helped me much except it is uh, uh, just coagulation coagulating the surface of the uh, surface of the stone this was at very high energy and low frequency this is the first time i am seeing a laser not working on the stone the sound spool units is also 2500 so ultimately the stone is broken into the pieces and uh, removed so when uh, uh, all these stones are removed then we went with a flexible scope from below transillumination test is done highest transmination area we opened because we could not see any small opening there was a dimple the same dimple area of course uh, opening will be there then we went immediately it was through the infundibulum of the calyx and we thought uh, we dilated it with nephroscope up, up to 18 French easily went and uh, we put the stent across we don't know whether it will stenose or stay like that at the end we did uh, uh, dye study no complications and uh, to conclude even in post RIRS uh, uh, post stenting 
uh, fan sheath can injure the mucosa one should be careful in case uh, the infant diploma is not seen trying rirs is not worth for large stone volume in dilated system very hard stones uh, unless uh, you have something breaking and suction together it is very difficult to do a floating stone or secondary stone and last uh, creating way between the pcs and this dilated calyx uh, through the laser whether it will work or not we have to see and only follow up can tell this is the conclusion in this video thank you